my next question is one of the question that uh, one of our students of college media is asking. He is in Nanda, and he has asked is uh, what is the what are the uh, other books recommended books for organic chemistry that you could can suggest for the students. Uh, there are few very good books out there in the market. There's a book written by Francis A. Carey. You can read that. Similarly, you can also read Mersenberg. There's a book specially for reaction mechanism written by Peter Sykes. And the book which I actually studied uh, was Paula Bruce. You can read any four of these, but again, you have to be very cautious that you be very selective in reading these books. You read what is required, you don't read what is required. And for that, the touchstone would be your NCRT book and the syllabus which has been prescribed for the examination. You have to keep that always. Because I tell you, this is a very exam in which you have to have a focused preparation because you have to complete everything in the stipulated time of two years. Now generally what happens when you develop interest in a subject, you try and read more and more of it and spend more time with the subject compromising the other subjects. That should not happen. Suppose you are studying Francis A. Carey, you don't have to read each and every letter that's there in the book. What is the purpose should be? You read NCRT, you read a reaction. If you are satisfied that you have understood the reaction to the core of it, you go to the next reaction. There's no need to study the same reaction with some other source. But somewhere, if something is missing, you should go back to the book and study uh, whatever is missing from there. It should be done on a reference basis. You should not try and read everything which is there in the book. 